All right, I thought it was recording, but I wasn't. Um, so we're going to go through and, and talk about all the trades and, and decisions we made. Uh, we decided ultimately we're going to blow things up, and we are no longer uh, competing for the playoffs. Of course, we're going to try to win every game still. We're not outright tanking, but uh, we are making uh, moves for the future and not so much for this season. So we decided to trade Quandre Diggs away to the Vikings. And so the Vikings uh, ended up re-signing Quandre to a two-year, $25 billion contract, which we couldn't really do anyways. And in return, we got some picks. And then uh, the Chiefs, we traded Tyler Lockett to the Chiefs for uh, Bashad O'Neal. And then along with a first, second, fourth, and third coming from uh, future uh, drafts, not this year's draft, but the year after. And then we traded Damian Lewis away, who's making 11 to 13 mil per year. Decided to trade him away so that we could open up cap space in the future to potentially sign some free agents. And also because Damian Lewis was going to start to regress. So we decided to, let's see, oh, they released their left guard. Uh, they just, we decided to, yeah, get a second and a fifth for Damian Lewis. And then Toby Nowak, we just moved him back to outside linebacker. And we're hoping that maybe he can excel. We were looking actually to trade Toby Nowak, uh, which you might be like, wow, wow, why would you trade your first round pick? Um, and we decided not to because uh, every single team I tried to trade him to uh, wanted to give us nothing more than a third or fourth round pick for him, which basically should tell you all you need to know. The guy is very low value right now. He's not getting much PT on our team. I'm hoping that... I don't know. I'm hoping that he can turn things around playing outside linebacker instead of just straight up the end. All right, we got much more money to re-sign now. Julian Love doesn't seem to be super happy. He hasn't really been happy this whole time. We're going to give him a four-year... Uh, we're going to give him a four-year deal. Lock him into it. We're going to give him more money than he has been asking for. All right, so he still really doesn't want to sign with us. We have to continue to give him new contract offers. We could try to re-sign Brandon Scherf, but he's going to regress. We're going to see how that pans out over the course of the off season. Let's look at mock draft two here at week eight. We've made our trades. We are where we are. Um, let's just see. We could look at like the interior of the O-line. We could look at the defense a little bit for some of the prospects, but I don't really feel like doing that in this episode. Um, let's just go over this mock draft instead. So we had Dalton Hall still projected to go first overall. That was the, oh, it wasn't the same as uh, in the mock draft one. Okay, so Justin Kendricks has moved down to number two. If we take a quick look at him, the guy is 6'6", again, 22 years old. He's got the A tackle, B block shed, C zone coverage. Very athletic. And then his hit power is not great. His tackling is really good. But uh, we can't see how good his... Where's his finesse? His finesse and power is between A and B. The guy's going to be a stud because his zone is a C, too, as a 6'6", speed rusher. So he can, you know, he can play coverage or rush whenever he felt like it kind of like a micah parsons kind of like a tj watt i do like to see that but looking at this current uh list here right now we're projected to go after antonio dawson i don't think that's actually what we're gonna do uh tight end is a need but is it uh, enough of a need to draft a 15 i don't think so but right now we have the 15th pick and then we also have the 24th pick we're not drafting two tight ends obviously and uh yeah, I believe we just have the two first-round picks. I don't think we traded for a third first-round pick for this year. All right, so this week, Sheldon Daniels is getting the start over Geno. Giving him a chance versus the Bears. Bears should be an easy opponent. Hopefully, he can rise to the occasion, step up, and play well. Despite the fact that we've moved on from our left guard on offense and our number two receiver in Tyler Lockett, bringing it up as Gooden up to the 25-yard line. We'll see how Sheldon Daniels responds to these changes Stepping in, uh, taking over the reins behind the center. And let's see if he can actually get this offense functioning again. And it's going to be tough because, again, he has really, really poor accuracy throwing down the field. So we're going to have to kind of uh, get him hot with some underneath stuff to begin with. Running the ball, throwing some RPOs, and then maybe take a couple downfield shots. And really, all of those downfield shots should basically just be going to DK. Got two receivers out here again. Because we traded Tyler Lockett, that means JSN is our number two now. Which makes sense, right? Because JSN should be our number two based off of what we, uh, where we drafted him at. And how good he is, too. He's got superstar dev. Most superstar X-Factor. 
Dalton Daniels is getting outside the pocket. He's going to run out. Didn't want to make a throw. And Daniels is going to pick up the first with his legs. Something that we've lacked on offense a little bit is, you know, Gino can run a little bit, but he's not as fast as Daniels, that's for sure. And Daniels isn't even as fast as Shane Kirkland, our third string QB. Tariq Young on the catch. Gets the first down, pick up, and more. Down to the 39. And we're waiting for them to step up because otherwise we're going to be just throwing it underneath over and over again, trying to punish them. And DK, oh, we couldn't make that throw. Got it off in time to not get sacked. But yeah, like, I mean, when we got to make, you know, when we actually have to make reads with Sheldon Daniels, that's when it's going to be tough. Doing RPO plays is easy. Throwing to the flats is easy. But, uh, you know, playing a high-low or, or running flood, we'll see if he can do that. Sheldon Daniels on the keeper. Yeah, slide down. It's going to be third and one. We're going to do no huddle. Try to catch the defense off guard. Don't let him set up. And we're going to go into an inside zone with McIntosh in the backfield along with JSN. I don't love this formation, but get the carry anyways to McIntosh. JSN doesn't do a great job blocking. We're going to go for this. All right, we've done this before. We're going to give Sheldon Daniels the carry. Just straight up QB run. Sheldon Daniels picks it up. He's going to slide down, not take the hit. Oh, he had a DT right on his back. Looking for the slant to Walker and didn't hold on to it. Kind of didn't expect him to with how hard he got hit. Watching for the double move from DK, but there is a linebacker over the middle that's probably going to help out with that. Instead, we're going to run it with Daniels. You going to slide down again. Take a hit on that play, but it's going to be third and six. Yeah, okay, we're going to give Daniels another chance to carry. And then we're going to go for it on fourth if we don't get it, which I don't expect us to pick up the first here. McIntosh... Not McIntosh, Walker with the lead block. Sheldon Daniels playing a little bit more, or being used a little bit more like, like Cam Newton. He's got the size where he could have that comparison. He doesn't have the same arm, though, obviously. Ken Walker underneath. Ken Walker breaks a tackle down at the six-yard line. That was scary. Um, there was a guy right behind Sheldon Daniels. Almost got to him in time to stop the play, but big first down pickup. Another throw underneath, making it really easy for Daniels. Moving him outside the pocket. And Walker on the carry. Picks up a few down to the three-yard line. All right, trying another RPO. Got the stretch on the outside. Looking for JSN. See, this might be man coverage. And we're going to give the carry. It said, Ken Walker gets into the end zone barely. Thought we were definitely going to get in there, but he had to do a, a, a flip almost. Finally got into the end zone. Another TD for Ken Walker. All right, coming out on D. After some of the changes made to the team, obviously Quandre's not playing deep safety anymore. We saw that last week, how that went. Didn't play that poorly. Christian Patterson playing over the middle. Coming in, making the tackle. Devin Bush and Christian Patterson. Second and six. Can be cover one. We're going to contain on the outside and spread the D-line. Looking for potential play action or a rollout. It's going to be a carry up the middle instead by Delvin Cook. And Nowak is injured on the play, holding his back. And what can I say about this guy? I, I haven't been thrilled with how he's played. He's sitting on the sideline upset for good reason. He's been kind of a bust, even though the stats are good with him. The stats are there. He's he's statistically should be... Oh, no. He should be a lot better than he is. Coming down making the tackle. Trenton Simpson finally stops Justin Fields for 15 yards. The low back strain for Nowak. We're going to send him right back into the game. We're going to watch the read options for him from here on out with Justin Fields. I'm going to contain that and give it off to Dalvin Cook if we can. Bring it underneath. And it's going to be a flag for pass interference most likely. And Kenya Porter coming out making the tackle. Marquise Blair, great job. Marquise Blair's done a pretty good job filling in at the safety spot for Quandre. I thought that we would need Tart to play safety, but Blair's not really a great safety at anything like you know his zone is okay his hit power is kind of eh Dalvin Cook getting some blocks breaking some tackles finally brought down again the veteran running back look like he's in his prime right now down at the 16 yard line Tariq Woolen on the tackle in the gun once more we're there with Trenton Simpson and just yeah, having so much time in the pocket just stand and just decimate the defense and Nowak gets injured again we brought him back in he was having some back spasms or a back strain, and he goes right back out with another injury. And, you know, this is what we should expect, I guess. Uh, making trades to tank a little bit. Uh, prepare for the future seasons. We shouldn't expect to be winning this season, I guess. Um, 
But I just want a little bit more heart. Dalvin Cook gets injured on the play. I would like to see low back strain will return soon. Oh, that's weird. So you, you just take out another low back strain. Um, but I'd like to see, you know, any sort of indication that we are making positive strides and moving in the right direction. And I'm not getting any of that indication on defense. Defensively, it's a bend but don't break defense where we basically just sit here and pray for stops. We don't actually force stops. Come down. Can someone get to fields? We... We sent somebody, we clicked it on the right stick to send somebody to go after Justin Fields. We contained on the outside, didn't matter. Justin Fields still got in the end zone for the touchdown. The defense, again, um, not making plays, not getting sacks, not getting interceptions, not stopping Justin Fields from running outside. Run Ken Walker on the first play, first drive of the game went really well, but that usually is no indication of how the rest of the game is going to go. On the outside, Ken Walker can't run away from Tremaine Edmonds, even though Ken Walker is one of the fastest backs in the NFL. Trying play action, I don't know why this would bite, but we're going to do it anyways. On the deep end, good throw, kind of. I mean, it was, in, it was pretty inaccurate, but it ended up working out. It's going to be third and five. And now on third and five, the question is, what is going to get us this first? And I'm going to have JSN on a five-yard out. I'm going to send Arnold on a go. And I'm looking at that, I'm looking at DK. DK is sitting over the top, did a high point pass. He catches a great ball by Daniels. That was exactly what we needed. DK is sitting down in the zone coverage, finding the uh, spot that was not covered on the run. Walker... Except two. The running game is so bad for us, too. And it doesn't even make any sense. It was doing so well. Blocker on the carry. Got some good blocks. There we go. Finally, a big chunk yard run to start this game. Run play action. And we're coming through pretty quickly. Set our feet. Can we make the throw? Oh, that was a pretty good job by Daniels, though. Turning around, making that throw in half a second while the rush was coming after him. Be second and ten. We're looking for Dariq Young, most likely. JSN could come open on the curl too, and instead we're gonna throw it down to Ken Walker because Tremaine Edmonds was all over JSN underneath. We're just trying to play smarter. Um, I feel like we've been a little bit too risky throwing the football um, this season and last season, throwing way too many interceptions. So I mean, we're gonna get less first downs. And look at that, Ken Walker is—it's like he's moving in mud. It's like he's moving in slow motion. An outside run, and Tremaine Edmonds is just waiting for him. All right, we took the field goal. But I'm just getting frustrated because Ken Walker should be getting space on the outside to run. He should be able to get to the edge. And he's just not doing it. Justin Fields on the keeper coming in, laying a huge hit is Devin Bush. Love seeing that. Make Justin Fields pay when he decides to keep the football. Love to see a fumble, though. I'd love to see a turnover forced. That would be great. That's something we're not, we're not at that point yet. Up the middle. Oh, Christian Patterson missed the tackle. That's that's me, honestly. Marquise Blair with the tackle, though. Herbert with the first down pickup. Now at the 40-yard line. And we're going to... Oh, let's see. They're in single back. Going to send Christian Patterson. Cover one. And it's play action. We're watching over the middle. Can you, Marquise Blair did a really bad job there of, you know, I don't know, having a heads-up sort of moment. At, you know, guarding somebody else, but they threw... <sighs> Justin Fields threw it to the backup, like, tight end, Tongs. I don't know who the hell is that, but just, just jump the route, man. It's right there. Five yard out? No, we're watching it. It's a 10 yard in. Instead, Komet, oh my god, we missed the tackle, of course. Devin Witherspoon comes to finish the playoff. Bringing Komet down to the 11 yard line. And again, Fields is 5 for 5. The running game is working well for them. We, we need some backbone, man. We got no superstars on this defense. The closest thing we got to a superstar right now is Devin Witherspoon. Play action. The one on one. Oh, what a great play by Marquise Blair on that tie. I got to give him props. I was talking crap about him earlier. Great play reading that out route. Should have been an interception. All right, I know what this is. Uh, this should be a run to the left with Bert Justin Fields, I'm pretty sure. That's a pass. They did a pass play out of it. Okay. Uh, and damn, Trent Simpson. Get in front of the tight end. Just get in front of him. Well, it's fourth and three. They're going to take the field goal, most likely, and they do. Offense has been successful so far, scoring on every drive. Two minutes left, though, so we're going to have to speed up. Ken Walker getting some blocks. Picking up eight on the play. Going to run an RPO again. We've run this one before. 
to the defense reacts. We got Tremaine Edmonds on JSN. It's gonna be zone coverage, so JSN gets the easy first down pickup. Daniel's up to 78 passing yards. And JSN up to three catches for 22. And I'm getting close to the point where I'm gonna take a shot to DK. Let me try this read option here, see what it looks like. Ken Walker gets a block from Beckham, goes to the outside, picks up six on the play. Minute and a half remaining. It's about time that we take that shot. This doesn't look like it's gonna actually end up working out for DK. I'm looking at JSN instead. JSN, open. Down to the 30 yard line, a minute and 10 seconds remaining. We're gonna go no huddle. This play. Might call a timeout next play. Looks like it's zone. And I think it is. Dariq Young getting blocks from DK. And Dariq Young going out of the 15-yard line. And I've always liked Dariq Young. He can play a little bit of running back and receiver. Really good after the catch. Um, happy to see him actually get some PT now that um, Tyler is kind of out of the way. Bring it underneath the Ken Walker. Can he make a man miss? No. All right, we're looking for DK this whole time on the comeback. Um, hopefully we don't get hit immediately with this JSN. Let's see. Okay, they're coming through pretty quickly. Up top! Oh my god, that was almost an insane catch. That was a dangerous ball, though. I, I won't lie. I'm gonna send DK on that comeback again. I would rather him be on the near side, but uh, I don't love this. We're gonna send Sheldon Daniels up the middle. Try to make that guy miss. We didn't do it. We're gonna take the field goal. Take the lead before half. Okay. Start of the second half. They've got the ball. We're looking for Justin Fields to continue to run. Play action. We're watching over the middle. Nothing's there. Justin Fields is contained. And we do get the sack. Finally, coming from Chandler Jones. Chandler Jones and Robert Quinn are our biggest playmakers. And, I mean, they're veterans. They know, they know, you know, what to do. They've got skills. They're just not very athletic anymore at this point in their careers. But it's kind of sad that none of our young guys are really showing up and making big plays from the edge spot. I'm not talking about just Toby Nowak. I mean, like, Derek Hall. I mean, Boye Mafe. No one is really standing out, and that's why we're so desperately looking for that long-term solution. We're watching the zig. Tariq Wollen playing great coverage. Nothing's there in a three and out. Finally, we get a stop. Now, this is a perfect start to the second half, and this is a perfect place for Sheldon Daniels to get these reps and finally get some, you know, valuable playing time in the regular season. We're going to send Jason on a five-yard out. Not there. And almost threw a pick because we got hit on the throw. All right, here we go. Read option. Oh, we couldn't get it off in time. Third and 13. All right, third and 13. You're not going to give up anything over the top, most likely. And we got to throw it away. Well, it was a good start. We got the stop after uh, getting a sack on that last drive. But, yep, we got stopped ourselves. So we're right back in the same position as before. It's another run. Devin Bush couldn't make the tackle. Marquise Blair can't make the tackle. Finally... Devin Witherspoon coming in and laying the wood. First down pickup, though, on the first carry uh, from Herbert on the drive. Two running backs in the backfield. They got Blossom game back there, actually. It's going to be a... Oh, it's a read option keeper. And Fields fumbles. We can't fall on it, though. Damn, man. Again, with Blossom game and Herbert in the backfield. Bringing a man blitz again, hoping to disrupt this. And Herbert gets brought down quickly by Christian Patterson, making it third and two. On cover three, we're watching the read option keeper from Justin Fields. I want to contain, but then the run's going to be there for free. We're going to contain anyways. I'm going to try to play it with Patterson. And it's a pass. Stop him. Oh, damn, man. I saw it there. I wanted to bait it a little bit and try to break the pass up. But somehow Herbert held on to that. Not the best receiver at running back, but uh, through the contact, holds on to the football. I form, expect to run, and it is going to be a run outside. Devin Bush trying to get there, makes the tackle. It'll be first and 10 from the 40 now, and the Bears are starting to move it. Good combination of running the ball and throwing a little bit, mostly just to Herbert. L. Komet's wide open. Really in love with the tackle. Give me second in inches. And I feel all right right now, like the Bears' offense is very similar to our offense. They're just kind of babying. Uh, Justin Fields with this offense. He's not throwing it deep. He's just throwing it underneath to do the check downs to the tight end or the running back. And it's going to be incomplete. Slant route there didn't work out. Not a bad play by Justin Fields to make that throw. It's going to be third and inches now. We're watching the read option keeper again. We're trying to stack the D-line as much as we can, even though they got four receivers out. Expect a run, but it's going to be a pass. 
And we get the sack coming through Trenton Simpson with a huge play. He came through so quickly. I did not expect Trent Simpson to just fire through unblocked off the left side, but a huge play against Justin Fields. All right, that forced the field goal, so it's going to be tied. On the run by Walker, getting outside. Ken Walker picking up three on the play. Ten carries for 40 yards. At least it's better than last week. Slightly. I'm going to send DK on a go. Got Cedric Beckham in motion. I'm hoping to bring one of the safeties over because of that. I love this game. If you don't know what we were trying to do on that play, I was trying to do a high point pass to DK, but it uh, glitched, so cool. Derek Young gets open, got to hold on to it. Oh my God, he couldn't versus Jalen Johnson. Making it fourth and 15. Again, playing the defense the same way as before. Watching the read option, watching a bubble screen potentially, looking at those RPOs. Three receivers, they put everyone on the right side. Watching the out, watching the underneath, and Devin Witherspoon gets beat by DJ Moore. Probably the only solid receiver on the team. Julian Love makes the tackle. Finally, a big run after the catch by DJ Moore, making us pay. Playing cover one, clearing out one side of the field for DJ Moore to just take it. The only reason his yards per attempt are up is just because of that one DJ Moore run after the catch. Otherwise, he's just thrown at three yards pretty much every time. A play action. Damn, man. It feels like we should be getting more pressure. Uh, Odell, I didn't realize he was on the team, actually. It feels like we should be getting more pressure. It feels like we should be getting... We should be making some of these plays. Some of these balls are lofted up for people to come in and get a pick. Or to just to, to do something. But they're just playing one-on-one -on -one again with DJ Moore. He's covered underneath. Trent Simpson can't make the tackle, but Tariq comes down and does it. But yeah, like right there, you know, like we're right on top of him. Can we get a pick? Can we get a tip? Um, can we get a sack? Uh, we're just not finishing the plays. And I've said this to the point where it's just like I'm regurgitating it over and over again. But like, God, just finish a play. Finish a play. Third and goal. We got to stop them for a field goal because I, can't, I don't trust the offense to go down and get a touchdown. Um, we got to stop them for a field goal. Watching for the read option. Like it's a motion. And Justin Fields gets sacked this time by Derek Hall. Derek Hall stepping up. Playing contained, so he didn't really rush. He just kind of waited for Justin Fields to try and run outside the pocket. But did a great job in containing him and actually getting the sack. Uh, we got DK. We're looking for DK on this route. We'll see. One-on-one -on -one ball, and it's out of bounds. Damn. Looks like it's zone coverage because they have four guys on our two receivers out left. And so I'm going to send Derek Young on a go. I'm looking for JSN on the right side. And JSN holds onto it. A really bad ball, honestly. Uh, but the DB didn't get his head turned around and didn't see where it was. So we got very lucky. We're on a QB draw. These usually don't work out, but we got a huge mismatch on the, D or on the offensive line. Jalen Daniels. Oh, he fumbled. Can we get it? Jadavian Clowney on the recovery, the former Seahawk for one year. Makes us pay. Sheldon Daniels made, made a huge play, juking out one of the linebackers. But, of course, got hit from behind, fumbled the ball, and now we're in a position where we really need to get a stop. DJ Moore gets tackled down by Marquise Blair. going be second and seven. And that turnover could be enough for us to lose this game. And, yeah, that season, blah, 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 blah. I don't even know, man. Um, nothing's going right. The outside, oh my god, the blocks. The blocks are insane. Devin Witherspoon trying to get there. He's pretty fast, but not as fast as Herbert, I guess. But, uh, holy crap, we got pancaked on the outside so badly. So badly. All right, down 10. It's far from over. Watching the out by JSN and DK. JSN beats his man on the outside, beats Jalen Johnson. First down pickup. And now we're going to have to start airing it out, which we haven't been doing. We've had the training wheels on up to this point. But now it's time to take the training wheels off and let Sheldon Daniels throw it downfield. And uh, we'll see what happens. Kenny McIntosh on the catch, throwing it underneath for a six-yard pickup. Getting out of bounds, though, stopping the clock. We still have all of our time mouths. As long as we get a score quickly, there's still a chance. I always say that. Um, doesn't mean there actually is a chance. Just want to, you know, be positive. JSN... 
Oh, did a good job getting down to the 38-yard line. JSN finally getting those targets we wanted to see him get now that he's at the wide receiver two spot. Daniels trying to escape out. Oh, my God. That's the game, man. Oh, you know, the pro like, he should be at least a decent runner. Anytime he faces any contact, he's dropping the ball. All right, fourth and inches, we're running it up the middle. Probably not a smart play to run it with Sheldon Daniels in this case, considering the two fumbles. We're going to run it anyway. Sheldon Daniels fumbles it at the one-yard line, but Dariq Young falls on it for the touchdown. We could have tried to slide, but we got greedy, wanted to get the TD. And, of course, Dariq Young fell on it, but Sheldon Daniels, another fumble, is third of the game. All right, that's going to be the end of the game. We end up losing to the Bears 30-20. to And what's the problem? I mean, 20 points shouldn't really always get us a win. Definitely not always, but the defense giving up 30 to the Bears is is bad. Justin Fields should not be able to put up 30. Um, he had one touchdown, no picks. John Daniels had no touchdowns and no picks. But, of course, he had the three fumbles, one rushing touchdown coming from Ken Walker, and then one coming from... Uh, where is that? Actually, wait, did they give it to... Oh, yeah, they didn't give it to Daniels. Yeah, the one rushing touchdown going to Dariq Young off of the fumble recovery. A really quiet game, actually, from DK, who had one catch for 24 yards. JSN had a massive game in his first game starting at the wide receiver two spot. Eight catches for 130. Didn't realize he was doing that well. Um, but, yeah, the rest of the offense didn't do great. Got a sack coming from Derek Hall and one from Chandler Jones, one from Trent Simpson. So the pressure was much better um, with Toby Nowak on the bench. We got one forced fumble from Marquise Blair and then a couple from the Bears defense. All right, got some upgrades. Both two are free safeties. We're just going to manually upgrade, or we're going to auto-upgrade them, get them to a higher overall. It doesn't really matter. They're veterans that are not going to progress much with their normal dev traits. Uh, but, all right, so let's look at... The one injury we got before we end the episode was Toby Nowak. So we he had a low back strain, and he re-injured the low back strain, and he ruptured his disc. So, I mean, can it get much worse? Five weeks out, um, which is going to further hurt his development as a player. Um, let's see. did he Has he missed any PT yet? Six, five, four, three, two. All right, so this is the first time he's actually been, like, really injured. Um, and so far, yeah, like the half sack in week two, the sack in week five, a couple of healthy scratches, and then a five-week injury for a ruptured disc. And then Noah Fant will be back next week. Uh, I'll see you guys in the next episode. Peace.